welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my new Google Sheets savings tracker. I already have a sinking funds tracker and it's very elaborate. I'm going to leave the link to that one in the description, but I wanted to create something simpler in case you just want a visual reference of your savings, of your goals, but you don't want a lot of numbers and you don't want it to be really elaborate. And what's cool about this one is that I created it in a single tab, which means you can very easily incorporate it into to any other spreadsheet that you are already using in Google Sheets. So if you already have a monthly budget template, for example, and you would like to have the savings tracker as an extra tab in your spreadsheet, you can do that. So any other spreadsheet that you are already using, you can incorporate this feature into it. So I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful. If you already have the template, you can follow along to fill it out. It's going to be very easy and you can also just watch this video, get inspired and create your own layouts. So I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful and let's get into it. Once you have the template, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a copy of this savings tracker tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this savings tracker tab and I'm going to select duplicate. So immediately after you're going to see a copy of savings tracker tab appear. You're going to double click in it and you're going to rename it to whatever you like. So for example, let's do an emergency fund. And then I'm just going to jump into this cell right here. And this is where you're going to add your title. So you're going to do emergency fund or whatever title you like. And then in this section, this is where you're going to add your goal amount. So I'm just going to do a random number. Now to create your visual tracker, you're going to first decide how many spaces you want to see. And the limit is 366 spaces. If you go over that, it's going to turn red. So in this case, I'm going to do 24 spaces. So each one is worth $1,000. And this is the area where you're going to add your transaction. So right now, everything looks not filled. And I'm going to show you how to add images in here in a minute. So if I were to add $1,000, for example, let's just pick a random date. You can double click on each of these date cells and a calendar will appear for you to add a date. So if I were to add $1,000 then my current balance updated to $1,000 and then this one got filled automatically. If I add $500, I'm still not ready for this one to be filled out because my current balance is still not 2000 But if I were to add another 500 then it gets filled out. And as you can see, this progress bar is moving automatically. You can also choose to view this in reverse. So if you click on this checkbox right here, it gets filled from the bottom to the top. And if this checkbox is not selected, then it's going to start to get filled from the top to the bottom. So that's just a feature I included in case you prefer to see it the other way around. So very simple. You're just going to add a title, a goal, and you're going to select how many spaces you want to see here. As you can see, there's also other automated numbers that are showing up here, you get your current balance, which is just basically adding up these amounts. You get your amount left, which is just subtracting the goal minus the current balance. And then you have a couple sections over here that you could also use if you already have a starting balance. So let's say you already have maybe $1,000. So if you already have that, this is going to be taken into consideration for the current balance. So you get your 3000 plus your starting balance, which is 1000. And that's what's giving you your current balance. And then over here, you have the amounts you contributed, and then you also have an amount for withdrawals. So if for any reason you need to withdraw some money, you can just add a negative number and then you'll see how much money you have for contributions and how much money you have for withdrawals. And then you'll see your current balance is updating automatically. As an additional feature, you can also double click on the goal date cell select a date and you can see how many days are left. So every day that goes by, this number is going to be updating automatically. So today is November 27. So if I were to select November 28, I would see one day left. So as you can see, the progress bar is also moving automatically whenever I add an amount and you can change this anytime. If you change your mind and decide that you just want to see 12 spaces, for example, you can do that and it will get updated automatically. So this one is not yet filled because we haven't reached 6,000. But if I were to add another thousand here, then this one is filled automatically. And once you reach your final amount, so we're missing 18,000. Once you do that, then this gets filled automatically. The progress bar is filled completely and you no longer see the number of days left because you already reached your goal amount. And these images are fully customizable. So this might look like I am actually coloring these cells, but I'm not. It's just two images that are getting switched. So once again, I'm just going to add a value 
1000 and then this image it didn't really get filled it just switched from this to this and the way you customize these images is first you're going to save the not filled image in your computer as well as the filled image so once they're on your computer you're just going to select these cells and then you're going to click on insert image insert image in cell very important that you select in cell so once you do that you can just drag your file over here or you can click here to browse find it on your computer and select it i also added a couple images that you can use as examples so you can jump into these example images tab if we wanted to change let's say this one trip to japan if we wanted to change this to maybe this world over here i can choose a not filled image and copy it and then i can jump into this not filled cell and paste so immediately the not filled ones will switch to this image and the filled ones will switch to this image so i'm going to change that one as well and i'm going to copy this one and i'm just going to paste it here so now my filled ones are this filled world right here and my not filled ones are these gray ones so that's pretty much how it works and then if you would like to add this into another spreadsheet what you're going to do is you're going to choose whatever tab you want to copy into your already existing file it can be one that's already filled out or it can be this original blank one so let's do the original blank one so i'm going to right click and then i'm going to select copy to existing spreadsheet so whatever spreadsheet you want to add this into it should already exist so i'm going to select existing spreadsheet and then i'm going to find my file in the window that appears and i'm going to select it so once you select your spreadsheet and i didn't show mine because i just have a big mess in this account where i create my videos so there's a search bar at the top so all i did was look for the name of the file that i want to copy this into and then i just selected it so you're gonna see this message appear what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this open spreadsheet button and that's just gonna easily open the file into which you added this tab so i'm gonna click that so in this case i copied it into my monthly budget spreadsheet and you can find a video to this template in the description but what i did here is i have all of my original tabs and then i added this new extra tab so once you have this you have two options you can just immediately start working on this one or you can save it as your blank original within this spreadsheet so you can do blank original savings tracker so every time you need a new tab within this spreadsheet you can just right click duplicate and you will get a new blank tab that you can rename just to summarize you add the title you add your goal you add the number of spaces, you customize your images, and if you like, you add a starting balance and you double click to select a goal date. And you have these spaces for your transaction. So you double click and you select a date, you add your amount, which can be a contribution or a withdrawal, and then you can add any text in here that you like. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I love talking to you and helping. And if you already have the template and have any questions and need help with anything please send me an email i will leave it in the description so i can assist you and i will leave the link to the sinking funds in the description in case you want something more elaborate and i'm also going to leave the link to the monthly budget in the description it's the one that i showed in the example before and thank you so much for watching